Hey everyone, yesterday OpenAI announced their new GPT-03 model. Yes, just a few weeks after one was released. The jump in performance is really insane, more than I would ever have expected, so I want to break down some of the benchmarks OpenAI has shared so far. Before we dive into the numbers, there might be a question. Can we actually trust the benchmarks, given that OpenAI provided them themselves? So in my opinion, yes. OpenAI hasn't overpromised or underdelivered in the past with these evaluations, so I am quite confident that they are giving us an accurate picture. Let's start with software engineering. So we have a look at the SWE benchmark. The one preview model scored 41% and then improved to 49% with the full version. But GPT-03 made a huge leap to nearly 72% accuracy. And yeah, that's a significant improvement and especially impressive that it was only a few weeks after O1 was actually released. So O3 seems to be much better at tackling coding tasks compared to the earlier versions. And also keep in mind, these are real software engineering tasks, not just some dummy code or boilerplate. Next is the competitive programming on code forces. The O1 preview model had an ELO rating of 1258, while O1 already improved to 1891. That's already really, really impressive but GPT-03 scored 2,727 and that places it at the international grandmaster tier. I think that's absolutely massive. That's an extreme rare achievement even for top human programmers. So for context, a 2,000 ELO rating at Code Forces starts at the master rank. So this means that hitting 2,700 plus means that GPT-03 is outperforming nearly all competitive coders in the world. OpenAI also tested GPT-03 on competition math. So the O1 preview model was at 57%, O1 climbing to 83%. And what about GPT-03? It almost hits a perfect score. It's at 97% and I think that's remarkable for a test known for its difficulty. Let's move on to science. GPT-03 was tested on PhD level science questions from the GPQA Diamond dataset. The O1 preview and also the full O1 model both scored around 78%, showing minimal improvement between the two. However, GPT-03 achieved an impressive 88% and that marks a significant advance in its abilities to handle complex high level scientific reasoning. Let's now talk about novel problem solving. On the ARC AGI test, a benchmark designed by Francois Collette to evaluate the model's ability to acquire new skills and generalize to tasks outside its training data, GPT-03 faced entirely unfamiliar challenges. And here you can see the performance on the O3 series on the ARC AGI semi-private evaluation demonstrates a significant leap in its reasoning capabilities. The O3 with high configuration achieved an impressive 88% score and even with low configuration it scored like 76%. In contrast, the O1 series peaked at only around 32%. Now let's go to the last test. This test is about research level math. It's the Epoch AI Frontier Math Benchmark. An extremely tough test. Even for mathematicians, the tasks here take them days. And so the previous models only managed around 2% accuracy. But GPT-03 managed like 25%, which is a 12x improvement. In my opinion, this is the most impressive result. And why is this so important? Well, most LLMs are basically parrots. Very clever parrots, but parrots all the same. They excel at repeating or remixing its existing knowledge, but yet they often struggle when confronted with entirely new challenges. So GPT's O3 jump from 2% to 25% means it's doing far more than just parroting back patterns. It's breaking new ground in mathematical reasoning. And this milestone brings us closer to true AI research capabilities and raises the possibility of moving towards AGI. So I think we've covered the GPT-03 model, but OpenAI also introduced an O3 mini-series. These scaled-down versions let you tailor performance based on your needs. One of the standout features is that you can adjust the thinking time, which balances performance and cost. So if you need answers quick for simpler tasks, then you can shorten the thinking time to save money. If you're facing harder challenges, you can extend it to better, more detailed reasoning. What's great is that the O3 mini-series are also cheaper than the O1 series, despite offering big improvements. They are faster too, 
and deliver better results in less time. Which is great when you are a developer or researcher, but especially for businesses. This is great because let's say you have a product like a chatbot, then you can't let the user wait for let's say 30 seconds to get an answer. For us as developers, it's also great that the O3 mini series is as strong as O1 when it comes to coding and it's also excellent at providing structured outputs. But can we use O3 right now? Unfortunately, not yet. OpenAI will release it after a safety check phase, so we probably have to wait another couple of months to get our hands on it. If you're eager to try it earlier, then you can apply a safety tester. So that's the big picture of GPT-03 and I think OpenAI has made a fantastic job again. Let me know your thoughts on this new model in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye bye.